To be a brother is to be a friend, a companion, an ally, a playmate, a shoulder to cry on. But when brothers grow apart, as they do from time to time, it creates a gap of misunderstanding that's almost impossible to fill. And that's what our story is about in this episode of Still the Beaver. Kelly is my friend. 
even though she's a girl. But enough about her. <laughs> then there's my brother, Kit. What a creep. Of all the brothers to get stuck with, I got him. Boy, you're lucky. With 17 brothers, if one's a child head, you can always move on to the next one. What's weird is, my brother wasn't always so bad. You know, even a few weeks ago, I used to think I liked him. Oh, quick, get up! Come on, get up! No, no! Get me! Get me! Oh! I was here when I was back at our Aunt Martha's 90th birthday party. <laughs> Quick, get up! Wait till you hear this. I got the best news in the world. Freddie Haskell's moving? <laughs> Better! Uh, they lowered the driving in Shania. Come on, get up! I can't. I'm not wearing any bottoms. It's okay. We're brothers. Oh. <laughs> Hey, what's up behind your ears? Probably just dirt. No. Two tickets to the grand opening of Miracle Mountain. Miracle Mountain? You mean that place with the parachute drop and the runaway bobsled? Wow. Just watching the commercial makes me want to throw up. That's the place. Yeah, morning. Come on now, get in bed. Tomorrow's a school day. No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> well, Beaver, they're your boys. You think up a good reason. <laughs> nice. All right. You heard your grandmother. Hop to it. Get ready for bed. Okay. Ah, uh, there you go. Good night, Jan. Good night, Dad. Miracle Mountain, huh? How many tickets did you get? Just two. Oh. <laughs> Boy, thanks a lot, Kip. Hey, what are brothers for? Uh, Kip, uh, do you think Grandma saw me in my underwear? <laughs> so far, so good, huh? Now, you've probably never seen it. I was a teenage Martian. It's my favorite movie. It's about a regular kid who turns into an ugly, slimy monster. And that's what happened to Kip. And it happened so fast, there was nothing I could do to save him. What are you doing? Putting gel on my hair. grades, I won't get into college. And if I don't get into college, I probably won't be able to be a doctor. <laughs> you okay, Kip? Look, are you hungry? I guess. Great. Then why don't you go in the kitchen and get yourself something to eat? Good timing, Oliver. I'm making a chocolate cake. 
You can lick the frosting bowl. No, thanks. No, thanks? You feel all right? I'm okay, but I think something's wrong with Kip. Why do you say that? Because he's out there with some goofy girl. What makes her so goofy? Lots of things. She's always playing with her hair. She's got funny-looking socks on. And she's warping my brother's mind. <laughs> well, I don't think that's going to be any permanent damage. And I'm sure when you get to be his age, you'll understand the way Kip feels. You mean it's not just a phase he's going through? Oh, it's a phase. But it's one that'll probably last forever. Hi, Mom. Hi, Beaver. Hi, Big Dog. Hi, Dad. Bye, Dad. Uh, Oliver, uh, don't you want to lick the frosting? You work hard all day, Dad. You used to get to lick it. <laughs> What's with him? Try to fool him with a mix? Kip's new study partner happens to be a goofy girl. And this is not a mix. Well, I can't say I didn't see this one coming. This is going to be awfully rough on Oliver. Oh, in a couple of weeks he'll have forgotten all about it. I don't know. I still remember the first girl that Wally threw me over for. Four foot six, ankle bracelet, face like a flounder. <laughs> Penny Jameson. You know, I saw her last summer in the supermarket parking lot. I was still tempted to let the air out of her tires. Hmm. Hmm. They don't know what they're missing. I thought you scholars might like a piece of cake. Oh, no, thank you, Mrs. Cleaver. I'm watching my complexion. I guess that means I am, too. Yeah. Guess I should have made a zucchini cake. <laughs> now, where were we? Did you hear that Frankie and Donna broke up? What a waste. They were going steady two whole weeks. Yeah. Since they have tickets, they're still going to Miracle Mountain together. Well, I don't blame them. Those tickets were real hard to get. I waited in line three hours. You got tickets? How come you didn't tell me? Well, I, uh, you see. Oh, you were going to surprise me. Yeah. You're so sweet. I mean, the enemy has taken control of my brother's mind. What little there was of it. Too busy. No, I'm stupid. Next time I'll pay the 20 bucks to have the burglar alarm installed. What can I do for you? Well, I kind of got a problem. And I need some advice. Sure this isn't something you should talk over with your father? Well, he's good at most stuff, but... From what I've read in your high school yearbook, well, I thought you'd be better help when it came to girls. <laughs> you may have a point there. Well, I kind of made a mistake. I promised to take two people to the same place. Ah, two dates for the same night. The classic adolescent dilemma. Hey, I wonder what this was. <laughs> what am I going to do? The only decent thing to do is take the person that you asked first. Yeah, but the other one's so much better looking. Well, it sounds to me like you've already made up your mind. You don't want advice, you want approval. I can't give you that. But whoever you decide to leave behind, just be honest with them. This may be a little bit rougher on you, but you owe them that much. favor to ask. Is this the kind of favor when I get blamed for something you did? No, it's nothing like that. It's about those tickets to Miracle Mountain. Boy, I can't wait. That's going to be the greatest night of my whole life. 
Well, you know they're sold out, right? Yeah. And I only have two tickets, right? Yeah. Shirley's really got her heart set on going. Yeah. We have to work something out. You mean I gotta go with Charlene? I barely know her. <laughs> no, I'm going with Charlene. So I need that ticket back. You gonna go with her and me? Well, you see, Charlene only has a week to live. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, I would rather go with her than you. So I need that ticket back. Well, Rodani, 
That was three hours ago. And Kip still is back. I hope you Wani and Koza, Yurubi, and... Ah, oh, heck. All your 13 other brothers are nicer to you. And Kip is to me. Your pen pal, Oliver Cleaver. Oh, P.S. Please send instructions for that tiger pit. Oh, P.S., how's it going? Come on now, time to hit the sack. Let's go. There we go. Good night, son. Good night, Dad. Dad, how come you didn't make Kip give me back my ticket to Miracle Mountain? Oliver, what Kip did was wrong. But if I made him give that ticket back, he'd have been doing the right thing for the wrong reason. But I still would have gotten to go. Yeah, but you wouldn't have had any fun because he wouldn't have had any fun. But how could he have been so mean to me? Oliver, it's kind of like you have two brothers. One good and one bad. One does all the things you want him to. And one would rather play with the other guys. Or girls. <laughs> exactly. But what you have to remember is, there's a little good and a little bad in all of us. Give Kip a chance. I'm sure Charlene's not going to get in the way of what you and Kip have as brothers. Get some sleep, son. How can I sleep if I gotta share my room with a girl like her? Turn on the light? Yeah, I might. You don't want me to dress in the dark, do you? Yeah, you might hurt yourself. <laughs> want to hear what happened tonight? I don't want to hear what kind of a great time you had with little Miss Muffet. That's just it. I didn't have such a great time. Yeah? <laughs> you get there, see? There's all kinds of awesome stuff going on. First thing she does is go to the bathroom and comb her hair for ten minutes. Why would someone comb their hair and go on rides that will just get it messed up again? She didn't want to go on any rides that mess up her hair. What? She wouldn't go on the ones that don't mess up your hair because she's afraid they make her throw up. That's what they're supposed to do. She wouldn't go on the bumper cars, afraid she'd break a nail. She wouldn't get near the shooting gallery. Afraid it hurt her ears? Can you believe it? Oh, man, what a dud. <laughs> But we did go in the tunnel of love. She kissed me. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know something, Ollie? I blew it. I should have taken you. You can go to the neatest place in the world, but if you don't take the right person with you, you might as well not go. I was the right person, huh, Kip? You sure were. But I was thinking of you now. Wow, a dinosaur! You bought this for me? No, I want it for you to knock down the bottle food. Three tosses for 25 cents. This only cost you 25 cents? Well, actually, after seven dollars worth of trying, the guy felt sorry and gave it to me. Kid, you're the bestest brother ever. You're not a bad little brother yourself. I'm gonna get ready for bed. Kip. He's more than just my brother. 
He's the smartest, bestest looking, coolest brother a guy could have. And I wouldn't even trade him for 16 other brothers. We like the same junk. We do everything together. And next week, he's even taking me to Miracle Mountain. <laughs> Unless he falls for another girl.